Yes, and welcome again to Art with Miss Robertson. So happy to be speaking to you again and hope you're all well and safe. Now today we're going to be talking a little bit about fashion and I'm starting off with just googling. Very plain and simple, fashion trends in spring 2021. Now with fashion, quite often goes spring, summer or autumn, winter and I'm using a really reliable source here. This is Vogue, quite often referred to within the industry as an authority so really what their word says goes if they say it's fashionable this season it is fashionable this season here they're showing a roundup of the latest trends going into the new season and I thought what we could do is just have a wee look to see what themes are coming up within that so first up this trend here is monochrome. Now monochrome came about in the 1960s and has been coming in and out of fashion ever since. So here we've got some examples of how just black and white monochromatic colours are being used here in fashion and quite striking, I think you'd agree. Okay so next here it says the new look bralette, so again talking about really cropped tops and kind of matching colours with the bottoms and you can see the monochromatic theme going through them too. Now this floss trend is just denoting that there's thin strips of fabric being used, maybe tie around the waist, maybe the straps and take the floor really refers to the length of the garments. Now here we are looking at spring summer 2021 trends for men. So if we have a little look, think about the kind of colours that you can see. What kind of fabrics are there? Do you recognise anything at all? Now, new utility. This is the first trend that we can see here. And utility really means useful. So this is really practical fashion featuring lots of pockets and kind of plain colours. Like you might see, think of army or safari type outfits. Again, we're seeing that wide leg trend that we could see in the women's fashion and this trench coat. Now, it says here in the article that the trench coat is one that comes year after year. It's a very practical, lightweight jacket for spring, summer. And that starts us thinking really as well as the utility trend about fabrics that we're using. So it's not just shape and colours anymore, but we're talking about using materials as well. Now, this last trend here, the 1970s, Um, really had me thinking about where a lot of these trends that we see this year are coming from and it's 1970s fashion. So if we have a look through, this is just a general Google image search, very useful when you're starting some research into a new um, topic for design. And here we've got 1970s fashion examples. So you can see lots of these really, that kind of utility trend colours, the greens, the browns, the oranges, but we also have the wide leg fashion here and the use of materials like denim and corduroy. Now this is just a really brief overview of these trends. You can go into much more detail in your research and I'm sure you will. Now to create a mood board we put all of these different ideas together like that example that just flashed up on the screen. So here I'm choosing a banana leaf print which I'm then going to pop into I use pages, but you can use Microsoft Word if that's useful to you, or even just a notepad that you have on the computer you have access to. And I'm just cutting and pasting the images, I'm not saving them. So when I find one I like, I'm just right clicking, I'm copying, and then I'm pasting into wherever I want that to go. Now here, I've picked a kind of colour that I thought went well with the utility trends, and also a, a banana leaf print. And that was something that I saw a lot of in that 1970s, just a quick Google that we did there. So I'm having a little think about how I can combine these into an outfit. At this point, you will need to get some scissors, some glue and some paper. If you don't have access to a printer, maybe draw, you can maybe paint, whatever you have access to. If you want to go and collect your own source images, perhaps you've got some lovely and plants in the garden. If you want to take pictures and use them, you can do that too, that's not a problem. If you want to do the whole thing on the computer, that's absolutely fine with me. Really what this exercise and what the following exercises that we'll do together are about are using your imagination and using what is available to you. 
So as you can see here, I'm using a pencil and I'm just drawing the outline of the garments that I want to be cutting out. So I'm still thinking about those cargo shorts, the, the Bermuda shorts, the long ones. Now, so that you can see what I'm doing, I'm going to draw the Sharpie here. But as you'll see at the end, there's a reason why you shouldn't do this. It's just so that you're able to see what I'm drawing now. I'm drawing the outline there. I'm drawing a, li a little bit of detail just to give you the idea of what I'm trying to achieve with this. And yeah, again, thinking about that utility trend that I've just seen in my research, I'm trying to incorporate that into what I'm doing now. Now, if you need help doing this, holding it up to a light will definitely help. And here I am going for a shirt on the other side. See, now I've turned it round, you can see exactly why that's not what we should be doing. And it's time to cut it out. So, you know how to do this bit, very straightforward. And it's on to the last bit of our outfit creation. So find a new page in your sketchbook and I'm drawing in the detail that the ink bled through. I'm adding some pockets to go with our utility trend that I was looking at again and I'm adding the detail back on the shorts too. I'm going to make some notes on the paper with the ideas that led to this outfit. So the cargo shorts, the statement shirt. I've gone for a men's outfit here but you absolutely don't need to. It could be a you know, a feminine outfit if you'd like it to be. And again, I've given it the title, My Spring Summer 2021 Look. And if you're wondering what it might look like if you attempt the drawing yourself, then here we are having a quick Google just to get some inspiration for some flowers. I'm feeling a floral print today for this one. There were quite a few in what we saw in our inspiration originally from the Vogue website. So here I am looking at some orange flowers. I really like orange, quite a powerful, warm colour. And I think it looks really good with a purple, perhaps. Okay, so I'm just drawing out a really rough body shape, more or less head, arms and shoulders. And I really wanted this wispy floor length kind of jumpsuit. So it looks like a dress, but it's actually trousers. You might get a glimpse that that's what it is going off of that trend that we looked at. Here I'm just adding shadows to the creases in the fabric to make it look a little bit more 3D. Again, I'm adding my notes to explain how I came to this design. 